Welcome, this is a quick, simple and efficient tutorial about speed ramping and that is something that looks like this. I will do that the easiest way possible in Premiere Pro, so let's dive in. Here in front of me I have an ultra wide clip where we're doing speed ramping on, it's the same on every size clip. Uh, speed ramping is also called time remapping. So if you select the clip, you go to effect controls, there is a tab called time remapping. You can use that, but the easiest way is to go to the video layer and make it bigger. You can do that by dragging that part of the layer up, then it will be bigger, but you can also double click at the beginning of that layer. So here we can see a preview of the clip and we can see a line. You can drag that line down and then the uh, opacity of that clip changes. Uh, but if we're going to FX with our mouse and click the right mouse button, then time remapping and then select speed. Then that line in the middle is changed into a speed ramping line. So now if we're dragging this line, the uh, speed changes and you see that by the percentage. So to do different kinds of speed from slow to fast to slow, we're gonna set keyframes and we do that by hitting the P on our keyboard. Then our to change, we can choose a place where we wanna change the speed. So for example, over here, we click on the clip on that line. Now there is a keyframe over there. We're gonna go back to our normal tool by hitting the V on our keyboard. And then we have two parts on the clip that we can change speed of. So if I only want to change speed of the last part, I will drag that part down to 50% and maybe in the beginning I want to go faster. So I will drag that part up to, for example, 400% for something. We can make the cut a little bit smoother by dragging this keyframe one way or the other. And then we can even make it more smooth by dragging this to the left so the curve is even more curved. So if we play it now that we create something like this. And that's what you call speed ramping. And then you can play with these effects. So maybe you want the beginning faster and you want the transition more smooth. So then you create something like this. And you can also add a blur on the moving part so it's even more realistic. But this is the easiest way to do speed ramping. Don't forget wherever, however, no excuses, just shoot that video. I hope to see you the next time here on shoot that video. Bye.